Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bravo Stream. Gandhi alongside the one and only Complexities Ace. Bravo Stream. Best stream. Ooh. Ooh. B squared. Uh-oh. Imagine. The casting duo. The casting duo. You know, Gandhi, I might retire, you know. <laughs> Never. But if I did, we could cast. We could. We would make a phenomenal casting. Yeah. Game. It's the glass. It's the glass. Eight eyes on one screen. That's so many. We it could, is. You, you know how much we could see with that? We're practically a spider. Dude, we could give more in-game knowledge <laughs> than the broadcaster itself. Yeah, that's very true. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just tuning in, Primal FPS, a.k.a. Team Halo, yep. is taking on Justice, and they are currently down 1-0. to 1-0 zero. Zero map count, but I believe it's the best of three. It is. Here in the uh, open round three, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, being down 1-3, one or 1-0 one, one oh is nothing. Oh, it's nothing. Three. I mean, you really just got to think. That map didn't even happen. We just got to get a 2-0 yep. sweep. Easy S&D and then go to Blitz. s and I mean, this is where I, I expect Team Halo to shine. Really? You know... You know why I say that? I was actually expecting it to be Blitz next, and I was like, okay, Team Halo's going to be okay because it's, you know, it's a respawn. They're not used to, you know, that slow, methodical play like Call of Duty has. It's not, it's not really slow, methodical when you think about it. It's more of teamwork. I feel like Team Halo probably has a little bit more teamwork as far as... Because they know how to how to relate together as a, as a team, really. And Team Justice, I mean, they won the first round, but really what I was trying to say is that uh, they're going to work together better, and if they do that, if they utilize their teamwork with the Team Justice, yeah. they're going to win this game easy. But, I mean, Team Justice came out hot with a, a nice yeah, rush did, did there. Did you notice how aggressive yeah. they were being there? I mean, very rarely do you see a team actually on defense just overload B That's instantly, you know? Hard. It you completely know, caught them Those kind of guard. plays are, are risky, but I mean, they're big risk, big yep. reward type of plays. You know, you got to do something that's going to either throw off your opponent or outsmart your opponent. And right there, they just completely threw them off and caught them off guard and took that round in a very quick fashion. Gucci and Tipsy working hand in hand in tandem, if you will. Checking on the bomb site here, just waiting to see where Primal's going to be pushing up. Primal actually taking the slow and steady route, which is normally how we see it played. One player, was he able to get picked yet? That's going to be Tipsy. Now it's going to be a four on three. In, no, yeah, he's yeah, dead. He okay, Tipsy okay. Died. It's going to be a four on three in favor. Gucci four well. on two, nice. Look at this. Chino now watching his spot, flank. Really. Yeah, I'm watching the flank. Contemplating going up on the robot. Gonna get taken down here. Very good setup here from Team Primal. That was a really solid setup. They basically locked down every lane of the map that they could come from, and now they're just gonna corner study and eventually pick him off. As you see in the mini map, they're cornering him, and as they do, double team him and take him out. Um, you know, really right there, I, that was a really good setup. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I might use that one for, for my team. I was looking at the mini map there. Uh, it was a Red setup. Bull Pro Enable, showing off the thermal scope. You Got know, the, the, you know the sniping skills from Halo. You know, the craziest thing about Enable is that. He's missing his right thumb. I saw that YouTube video, man. And it is wild that That's he crazy. is able. He and he has such a good shot. And it, it, the funny, the only reason I brought that up is because so many COD people, well, the COD community is always like, oh, we're playing people who don't have thumbs. And he always laughs about it. He's like, you know, I don't have a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> and he still outshoots them. Yeah. It's always a good time. Interesting gun here from Ace. I haven't seen this used really at all. The Vepper. Yeah, um, what? Especially on land. Mm, really this, gonna, really interesting how this plays out. I want to stick on board with him. Yeah, he does have two kills in the last round. Is able to get some hit markers there. Was he? Would he kill him? No. Did he kill Gucci? He didn't? Okay. No, I believe he did. If you look up top left, that, that guy in the corner is gone. <laughs> if he <laughs> killed him, no he's got to be weak. Unsure of that death, but if he did, that was a very good shot by Ace. Yep. Um, as you see in the minimap, Ace has a bomb. Oh! Definitely had steady aim on there and picked him up with ease. Hopping on board with Snakebite, who has a gun. I, I'm actually really liking. I, I really you like give the it a chance. No, it's the uh, SC2010. I really oh, they, uh, they look so similar. Yeah, they man. do. I really didn't give it a chance online, but I was warming up on land here, and the SC2010 really has great accuracy and hits the bullet. As Ooh. Snakebite gets outplayed there, hopping on board with Enable, Red Bull Pro Enable. Enable rounding around the corner, spots a guy. Oh, did he not see him? Oh, he's getting wall banged, and he's going to actually just run back into the map room. Has Smart a guy, play. and he's going to be taken down. He saw the guy on yeah. the back wall. Took a little bit too long to rotate around to check his control room, and he's just going to be cleaned up here. If he wasn't weak there from the first guy, I thought he would have won that gunfight. He uh, he had the hip fire first shot, but he was you know beyond yep. weak, and the Bison picked him up there. So now we are seeing two here one. is Justice 2-1. Keep in mind, this is the best of six. Or best first of six. six. First best of, of six, best of 11. Same thing. Whatever. No one no one really pays attention. They Whoever just wait to see who wins. Yeah. the best of this match. Yeah, so it's, it's the, the best of this match. 
Sepsi now pushing up. Very aggressive play here. He actually got it. I think he has the lightweight on, and he's yeah. just been pushing up. Has days in front of him. And did he not kill him? Nope. Whoever that was snuck out. Now is back in the cover with his teammates. I'm uh, not even mad. I'm kind of amazed. Yeah, that was that is borderline <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I think it's Ace who was the sneaky beaver down low. Oh! Comes back and challenges, and wow, that was a quick three down wow. for Team Justice. Three down here, jumping on board with Study as he's in a one-on-three scenario. Has one guy, cleans him up. Another guy in front of him, and he's going to be taken down. He could have had that two piece if he wouldn't have took the nade there, but, I mean, good try. Very we good are all tied from, up at two. From Primal, 2-2 two -two with the bomb defuse there. And it's always, you know, the thing that's different between Prime One, a lot of different teams, and the Call of Duty, you know, especially complexity, you know, like you guys are hyped. Like Curse yeah, Las Vegas, we are hyped. They are calm, cool, was, and collective. I was actually about to say that to you. I was, I was yeah. saying, well, I'm really interested to see if they got hyped and kind of really got up and, and got in Team Justice face, how the game would change in their favor, or maybe not. But, uh, yeah, well, it's, you know, it's always a little bit tough when you're down 1 0. Oh, it's yeah. the best, of, you know, it's best out of three. And they don't want to come off as arrogant. You know, I think the, the main thing here is Halo guys want to say, listen, we're switching over to COD. We know it's your turf, but we're trying to make a name for ourselves. So basically you're saying they want to be the opposite of Crim6 when he made his switch to <laughs> Exactly. <Halo. laughs> and then just wait to be called like a robot or it whatever happens. he is. It yeah, yeah, eventually. But Ace again with the Vepper. I think he is in a 2v3 scenario alongside Enable. It looks like they're going to A-bomb site. Very, very interesting call here. Down. Has a guy, he's going to rotate all the way back. Has one guy, makes this a two-on-two. Two. Good play. Actually, no, his teammate's going to be taken down, and that is going to be the round. You see the, the quick connect on the uh, hip fire there with the Vepper? Yep. I think that's probably, uh, you know, why I was questioning it. Uh, he, his, the hip fire with steady aim is really, really good on it, and I think that's really why he's using that gun on a closer hmm. quarters maps like Sonic. You know, I've never even, like, given it a shot. I yeah. saw the Vepper, and I was just like, yeah, MTAR, man. I, it I, is so good. I'm a fan of the Vector. Vector? I, I've been using it a lot. Vector Red Dot. I saw a lot of people uh, copy our classes. Is somebody on Station 7 is going off right now. MC Ham. I Ham and cheese. Now calling his grandmother to tell him he just won open bracket round. Hey, Mom. Match. Yeah, I, 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 I won. Yep. Yeah. Hopping I, back on I love you. <laughs> with Tipsy here. Looks like uh, Team Justice going with a, you know, the, the typical B rush here on Sovereign. Gets some shots in. Those are Simtex. Backing away in the ladder room. He looks like he's going to be aggressive on this kill. I don't know about that questionable play. You know, he was weak there, but looks like we are 4v4 here. Uh, Ooh, Tipsy actually rotating back into the map room. I don't play. know, but finally Tipsy's going to be taken down. That's going to be three members down for Justice. And Primal brings a mean defensive game, but their offensive is just not there. Yeah, I looks maybe the offensive side. I mean, the defensive side is the, uh, the beneficial Ooh. side. Is uh -oh. oh, man. Study. Study is heating up. 1v2 here. Could you make it the 1v4? Could you imagine? <laughs> imagine? Oh, oh no. Oh, my. One on one. Study versus formal. As you guys formal. know, Study just went completely off in domination there. If he could get this ace on uh, Sovereign's S and D here and secure his team to win. Oh! oh. Nope. You know what that was? That was the robot. Yeah. Formal. Doesn't formal. Miss. Formal showing that he is the Asian Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. He looks just like him. It's amazing. And didn't miss. That's impressive. Anyway, it is. The SC2010. And, and you know, I think a lot of people are just realizing that the Remington just doesn't register that well that's, on land. That's what I was saying as yeah. well. You know, I was actually really surprised. That's why I was warming up in the All-Star match. I was like, man, I'm really starting to like this SC. This kind of seems like I hit more shots, you know. But, I mean, maybe it's the grip. It could be the grip. I'm going to try it out. Are you really? Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's only been three weeks in the something, game. Something you got to always notice is you can learn from anyone in Call yeah. of Duty. I mean, it's, it's really, it's that simple. Like, you can play a pub, learn a spot you didn't know about on a map. Look at this. Uh -oh. Ace attempting to get a flank here. His teammate's going to be taken down in the middle of the map. Has the guy there, misses some shots, and he was able to finally take him out, I do believe, as that's going to be tipsy. There's going to be a three-on-three. -three. Ace is actually looking. He may get a little bit ballsy here and push through. He's doing really well. Eight and five so far for his team. He does have the bomb. Seems like a team told him to rotate back. I guess they're going to try and switch to B here. Is there's a flank coming from one of the opponents. We're going to see an engagement right here. Oh! Ace again with that hip fire on the Vepper, Dude, man. it's... It's crushing. I'm, I'm surprised, dude. It is. It is doing well. Ace now slowly pushing up with his teammates here. They're looking to get control room. I think another one of his teammates actually picked up a kill as he got that kill. So we are in a 3v1 here. As teammates going to be taken out here, this is going to be for the lead. This is going to be their first time on the offense where they actually have some control. They're going to work together here as we always see here in search. The most important thing when you have numbers is you kind of group together 
yep. and you say, hey, I'm watching this side, you watch that side. Bomb down, Chino. Got an AR. Kind of kind of tough position to be in when he has an AR and has to kind of rush into control, which is a close quarter gun by battle. Oh. Again, fights, uh, I believe that was a SC-2010 or some MTAR maybe. And, you know, close I don't know. quarters. It's so tough. It is, some machine it guns is always the MTAR. That fight. Look at this. Whoop. MTAR, man. It is nasty. Uh, I was using the MTAR, though, and I, I just couldn't get used to the iron sight. Really? Because you know? Is it the circle around well, it? Well, it's that, but if you notice, it kind of zooms in from behind as most guns yep. kind of bring it in, and yep. it kind of goes straight down. It's kind of different, you know, switching from Black Ops 2 with how the guns aim in, and uh, I just couldn't get used to it, so that's when I, I switched to the vector, and I really, really, I really like it. Second lead change of the game here is Primal is actually going to end up taking the lead here. Keep in mind, it is the first to six rounds will take it. We are on board with Formal here, rotating all the way through through Enable. Enable connects with a shot here with the thermal scope. Will he actually ride the robot is the <laughs> question. Wait for the robot to get Oh, out of look there. at him. So He's going to cut off his back end. Bomb down, however, at A. When a 3v2 situation, I believe, in favor of Team Primal. Uh, one guy hiding in green. That's going to be a quick engagement. I think that might be somebody going for the defuse on the bomb right now. Will he get it? Oof. Enables being a great distraction right now for his teammate. If his teammates could get the defuse, oh! and he does. Snake bite. Very good play right there going for that defuse. He what a sneaky little cat. He basically relied on Enable's distraction. He was right? kind of like, Enable, you have my back. I'm going to go for this. You know, you cover me, distract. And Enable did a great job of that. Just put down shots with the sniper there. Uh, completely distracted him. And uh, moving into, I believe, what are we, round nine here. With yeah, math is fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Primal up, There's though, nothing five, three. <laughs> isn't there nothing better than being in a scrim and, like, you're, you're doing the domination oh, and you forget yeah. the first half and you're like, did we win that map? I'm or, like, sure. what? I suck at math. Uh -huh. yeah. And someone in your chat just like, no, you idiot. Yeah. You lost by 20. And you're like, oh, well. That's what I, I had a great second half, though, didn't I? That's what I love about the, uh, the chats here is that they can kind of tell you what the maps were <laughs> when you're scrimming. You're like, oh, really? That's what it was? Thanks. I didn't even oh, know. Oh, thank you. Uh, Ace again with the Vepper, leading his team here on this Sovereign SND. Oh man, we are actually seeing a full engagement here over on the A side. The really members of Primal setup. went for B, and this is a big, big switch. I don't know how many teams actually have this in their tackle box, but normally it's all about B. Yeah, that was a really weird setup. Seems to wow. work, however, they because they so what they did right there, Gandhi, is they initially went all A because they predicted an A rush, uh -huh. um, but Team Primal did switch it up and and go. So basically, so they went B, but they set up a prediction of an A rush, and then they kind of was like, okay, guys, they're not A, let's rotate around them, and they sent two guys middle, one completely around their spawn, which was Gucci, who's got the final flank kill, and then Tipsy rotated back to control. It was a it was a risky play. It turned out to work in the end because of the good rotation by Team Justice, yeah. but I mean. Round 10 here, 5-4 in favor of the Primal. Prediction? Uh, I think Primal's going to end up taking this one right here. Think they're going to close it right uh, here? I think they're going to close this 10? one out. But if just going back to that previous round, it's really on Formal's fault. Uh, it's really Formal's fault for that round because yeah. his job is to watch the flank. Right. He was sitting exactly. on the ladder. He was not watching the flank. That is on him. That's a, that's a really big issue in S&D is, is timings and being impatient and not, you know, basically giving up on your, your role and, and making a new decision. Oh, Tipsy in a battle. He is able to win that battle. This is now going to be a four-on-three scenario here for Justice. His teammate's going to be taken out. This is going to be a three-on-three three as Primal now is looking to even this one up. On board with Tipsy. Tipsy crawling his way out here. He's, he's basically Bruce Willis, and he's going to be taken down Good here. Shot. Man, but wasn't that a great shot? Uh oh 3v1 here. Primal could close it out right here, right now. They just got to find Chino. Uh, they got a player right above him, one on B bomb. I think we're going to see an engagement here as... Chino is going to come on to one player. Ooh. Will he find him? Oh! oh. Good map. There we go. That, that's what I was talking about. Formal's getting hype over there. That's what they're going to need going into Blitz. Wow. This? You need my phone? <laughs> Just, Just I like... I want to give a shout-out to Jonathan Bobel here, the lead commentator. Right oh, now. my God. Isn't he? he He's a handsome he man. He is aging. Can we get him in the shot? He is Jonathan aging Bobel. so well, God, too, isn't he? He's a handsome young man. Look at him. How old are you now? What are you, like 13? Yeah, you look great. He's going to be that 40-year-old guy who still looks good, you know? I mean, I don't see an age that could make him look bad. I don't I don't either. It's kind of crazy. Look the complexion. Well, look, look, look. We're gonna, I'm going to be giddy about this, okay? We are going to go to a quick commercial break. Yep. When we come back, blitz on what map? Who knows? Stay They're tuned to find out. Now. <laughs>